everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan and welcome to my channel I would love if you could join our little family and subscribe down below so today I've got a bit more of a chatty video something a bit more chilled got my cup of tea at the ready everyone pause this video go make a cup of tea come back then we can all have our cup of tea together you know you know so like I said we got a bit more of a chatty video today something a bit more chilled we just sat here having a chat with you guys um, I've actually got a 10 things, like 10 beauty products that I can't live without. As in beauty products, it can be anything from makeup, tan, skincare, anything like that. It can be anything along those lines. I just thought it would be a bit more of a fun video to film than if I was to do a favourite. Because I find it so hard to do a monthly favourite every month. Because I feel like it takes me way longer than a month to build up things that are my favourites. So today I thought I would just do like 10 beauty products that I can't live without to start this off. Then maybe I'll do a favourites next month. So let's just get into it. The first thing that I have that is like one of the products I can't live without is dry shampoo. Now I don't know whether any of you use dry shampoo as well. I'm sure you all do. But it's literally the saviour when you have not washed your hair. I have that type of hair where I can wash it one day and the next day it will be greasy. And I don't want to like wash it every day because it strips the oils out of your hair and it just takes too long to wash and dry my hair. So dry shampoo for me is a saviour. My favourite one is the brunette one because I feel like this one does leave a bit of like white marks in my hair because I have such dark hair. Um, so if there's any white marks in my hair today it is actually this because I used it earlier. And for somebody like me once again who has like really flat hair this is amazing because it adds a lot of volume into your hair and a lot of texture so that's why I really really like it. This one is the tropical one. Probably not my favourite one I feel like it's a lot more powdery than the others. But honestly, I'll just try any of them. So on to the next two things. They're both kind of fake tan related. So if you know me, I love fake tan. If you can't right now, I am tanned 24-7. I literally tan every week. My favourite tanning brand is Bondi Sands. Literally swear by it. It goes the darkest and I love a really, really dark tan. So that is kind of the tan that I use every single week. So these two things, like I said, are both from Bondi Sands. So the first one that I can't live without... Oh no, I picked up the wrong thing, give me a sec. So this is the one I meant to pick up. This is the Ultra Dark. This is the one that I use every single week. The one that I picked up before, I've got stuff everywhere. The one that I picked up before was dark. I do like this one, however, I'm more of an Ultra Dark type of girl, but it depends what you want. So yeah, Bondi Sands Ultra Dark is literally my ride or die. I use this every single week. I get through so, so much of it. It's a joke. But yeah, I have everything in this whole like things like 10 things I can't live without I think this is my number one literally I love a tan I'm so pale naturally so yeah this is a lifesaver for me but like I said the other thing that went along with this is the Bondi Sands tan eraser because if anyone's ever used this before it's the best tan it stays on so so long but it can be an absolute pain in the ass to get off so this is a life's lifesaver okay this is a lifesaver so this is from bondi sands again and it's the self tan eraser so this is an instant self tan removal gentle foaming cleanser now i know some people actually don't like this but when i first used it i didn't actually like it either but it takes a bit of getting used to so like for example it's a foam so you have to really really shake it before you use it um and then on the back it says leave it on for five minutes whether i always leave it on for 15 just because I do wear quite a lot of tan and I feel like I need the extra 10 minutes and then once I get in the bath it completely just comes off so so fast you don't have to sit there scrubbing your skin or anything like that. So as somebody who tans every week this is such a lifesaver and I just use it with an exfoliating mitt just to get it off and then it kind of does get rid of your dead skin at the same time. So yeah this pair are my absolute faves. Get through so many bottles of all these and it's just my fave of all time. My favourite of anything, like literally, get these if you want a good tan. You will never, ever, ever, ever go wrong. The next thing going along with that is moisturiser. I couldn't live without moisturiser because obviously I fake tan so often and I always topping my tan up. If I didn't have this, I don't know how my skin would look because I literally use it every single night because, like I said, fake tan. It can completely dry your skin out if you're not keeping your skin moisturised. So if you find your fake tan it goes like a tiger bread and it just looks really horrible, really patchy, then you need to use moisturiser. This is the one that I like, which is the Vaseline Essential Healing Intensive Care. And it's like, they do all different ones of these. This is the yellow one. I'm sure they do a cocoa butter one. They do, 
Is it an aloe vera one? I don't know. This is just a smaller version of it, but they do the massive one, which I do normally get, but it just worked out that these were cheaper at the time when I bought them. So yeah, this moisturiser is literally insane. But to be honest, I will use any moisturiser. Another one I like, yeah, another one I like is the Nivea one. And this is really good because it's really, really moisturised and it's a lot thicker than this one. Um, and this is the Body Lotion Irresistibly Smooth and it's just for dry skin, this one. So if you find you're going for a really hard patch of your tan, then try this one. Then if you just want an everyday like moisturising one, try this one. I know this is kind of cheating because they're two products, but just a moisturiser in general is something that I could not live without. The next few things I have are makeup related. To be honest, if you've seen my channel before, a few of these things you might have seen on there because they're like my bridal dyes, the things that I use all the time. So the first thing, which I know you would have all seen a million times, is the Doll Beauty Lashes. These are in the style Chloe Elizabeth. These are my favourite. I mean, I haven't really cleaned them, so we're just going to have to, like, roll with that. And it's got a bit of lash on the packet. But that is, like, what they look like. They're so, so fluffy. They're mink lashes. Um, and any lashes from Doll Beauty I really, really like. I don't actually have these on for today. For a change, I have a different stuff. Can't get it back in the packet. I have a different style on from Doll Beauty. But these are my all-time favourites. They are so, so easy to put on. They last such a long time. And, yeah. There's not really too much to say about these because I know I've said it all before. But yes, love, 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 love. So guys, just thought I've got my flowers back. Literally, how long have I filmed a video for when I didn't have flowers? Like, how annoying. But I've got flowers back. Woohoo. These are like a, a hot pinky colour. I can't even, I can't tell if they're red or pink. Like, I think they're more hot pink, to be honest. But yeah, on to the next thing, which does actually have some hot pinks in it, going with a the theme, is my Modern Renaissance palette, which I know you've all seen again a million times, but it wouldn't be my favourite if it wouldn't be in this video. So this is what mine looks like. It's completely ruined. As you can see, I use the Death Art this. Um, and then the inside, I shouldn't be showing you either, but this is what it looks like. Let me turn it the right way around. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, about five of mine have hit pan. This is what I use every single day. I was four actually, but you know. This is what I use every single day. It's so, so quick to use, so pigmented. I have actually got it on my eyes today, the pinks, which I don't normally wear, but love them. Um, and as you can see, a lot of the shades are running low, so I definitely am gonna repurchase this eyeshadow palette. And let me just tell you now, I've never repurchased an eyeshadow palette in my whole life, so that's saying something. Like, that is saying something. But, Again, love the packaging, wish it didn't get covered in makeup, but this is a ride or die again. Love it, I feel like I'm saying love it to everything, but I generally do love everything. The next few things I have, I swap these things out so, so much because I just could not decide. There's so many things I have, oh my god, my hair keeps sinking to my lip gloss. There's so many things I have I use all the time on an everyday basis, and I just didn't know what to include. So these are kind of the few bits that I chose from. But there is a lot more that I could have put in here. But I just stuck to 10 things because that's obviously how I want to do it. So the first thing that I've got is my Huda Beauty, what's this called? Faux Filter Foundation. Mine is in the shade Tres Liches, I believe it's called. I did a review video on this um, when I first got it, which wasn't actually that long ago. It might have been my video two weeks ago or something like that. But this is the most full coverage foundation ever, literally ever. Um, it's not actually what I've got on my face right now. I should have done my makeup with everything, shouldn't I? Um, but this is insane. It is kind of more on the pricey side. It's £32. But honestly, it's worth every penny. And you do get 35 grams of product in here, which is a lot for a foundation. So if you're on the lookout for a new full coverage foundation, definitely check this out. It's so, so good. And I'm sure you will all love it as much as me if you love a bit of full coverage. The next thing, like I said, I love a bit of full coverage. So I didn't know whether to include a concealer, whether to include a powder or something like that to go along with a full coverage theme. And then I sat down and thought, I was like, Megan, what do you wear every single day that you generally couldn't live without? Something that makes your face look really nice that you just couldn't live without. And I just thought, I'm going to have to put this in. This is the Iconic London Illuminator. Like I said, a few of these things you have seen on my channel a million times. But this is literally insane. If you want a highlight that is literally blinding, you can use this under makeup. You can use it as a highlight. You can use it as an eye base. You can use it on your body when you're on holiday. You can use it for so, so many things. 
and this is literally one of my favourite products in my collection so I thought so I thought why not put it in because I do use it every day and this bottle has lasted me so so long and it's still going I'm sure it's lasted me like just under a year now so even though this again is more on the pricey side you do get your money's worth for it because it just lasts a very very long time the next thing I have is a makeup tool so this can be something to put on the highlight the foundation anything like that and that's got to be the beauty blender now mine is a little bit ruined right now and needs cleaning but um woo! don't do that but this is just the packaging it comes in. I use this for literally everything, whether it be to put my foundation, my highlight, I bake with them. I've got quite a few of these in my collection and I just use every single one of them for something different. It's so, so good and I generally don't think I could do my makeup without this anymore. It just makes everything look so like flawless on your skin. It presses it into your skin so it makes your makeup last so, so much longer. They're just really, really handy to have and I don't think anything beats the actual beauty blenders because I know a lot of people buy like the fake ones, stuff like that. Personally, that's just not for me. I don't think anything can beat the actual original beauty blenders. So if you've never tried an actual like real beauty blender, like the proper original beauty blenders, definitely try one because you'll see so much of a difference. The tenth and final thing... I Something that I always, always use to take my makeup off is Garnier Micellar Water. Personally, I'm not a fan of makeup wipes. This is just what the packaging looks like if you haven't seen it before. And this is... No, this isn't a huge one. This is 400ml. Let me get the massive one and show you it. This is the 400ml, like the standard size that they used to sell. And now they've brought out a 700ml. And literally, look at this. You can't even really see on the camera, but it's so, so big. Like, it's nearly a litre of micellar water. Can you actually beat that? I actually smashed mine. I dropped it on the floor, look, and the whole lid has completely smashed. It's just having to stand up on my dressing table right now. But, as you can see, I wouldn't have this much micellar water right here if I didn't use it every day. It's so, so good for taking your makeup off. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of makeup wipes. You probably could get away with not, like, doing anything else after if you didn't wear too much makeup. But I always do cleanse after it just because I wear quite a bit of makeup and I want to make sure that my face is completely clean before I go to sleep. Yeah, that is my last and final product. Those are the 10 things that I cannot live without. Like I said, I wanted to do more of a chatty video this week just to kind of chill. I feel like I've done quite a lot of like, I keep bobbing the camera, sorry. Um, I feel like I've done quite a lot of makeup tutorials and stuff like that on my channel lately. So I just wanted to do more of a chatty video, show you my favourite products and definitely... Comment below if you have any more video suggestions because I love to do them. I love filming videos so much that so if you leave me some down below, I'll definitely check them out and do some of them. But like I said, if you did enjoy this video, I'd love if you could give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new or you're watching my channel and you're not subscribed already. Hi. Click that button below. Um, and there's a little notification bell next to it when you do so. That just updates you every time I upload, so I'd love if you could click that because YouTube never puts videos in subscription boxes anymore, which is so annoying. Apart from that, I will see you next week for a new video. Bye, dolls.